Hi parents, I know this is a bit different from uh, what you're normally used to but I thought it was very important for me to hop on here and uh, touch base with you and uh, tell you that we're still here. I know we are all going through times where things are so uncertain and uh, we are all under lockdown right now but um, I think it's important that we get together, we support each other and uh, like I said before it's important that uh, you know that we're here for you and uh, really quickly I don't want to take too much of your time but really quickly I wanted to share five different things that I would like you to keep in mind especially if your children are applying uh, to university right now. Yeah. Um, and you haven't heard or you're wondering or extremely unsure about what to do, uh, here are some things that you can uh, just uh, pay attention to. So the first thing is uh, that it's important that you keep in touch with universities, especially if the universities outside of India. Uh, continue to check their websites, continue to check the application portal. If there are emails that your child is getting, it's very important that you open these emails and read the kind of updated information that they're sending. Um, as you know, you've heard in the news, things are changing constantly and so it, the best way for you to get the direct information of the university that your child has applied to would be in these following ways. I think it also shows that uh, it's something called demonstrated interest. So what that means is that you as um, a parent or as a child is showing the university that you are genuinely interested in applying to that particular university because you are either writing in to them and asking questions or they actually will keep track of the emails that you have opened that uh, they have sent to you. So take this seriously, uh, keep in touch with them if you need any kind of updated information. Um, the second thing is please take time to make that informed decision for your child. I have been doing a lot of research and just checking on a daily basis on different uh, university websites and even uh, NACAC and all of these other um, websites that have been putting out information and what I have seen is that a lot of the deadlines whether it is to submit your documents or whether it is to make that deposit or a lot of the deadlines have been postponed either from uh, June 1st to June 15th for example at HKUST or if you look at even the um, May 1st deadline that the US follows every year, year on year that they have followed now, more than 100 universities have decided to move it or postpone it to June 1st. So whether it is that you're waiting to hear about scholarships or whether uh, uh, courses are going to be online, whatever it might be, uh, just wait and be patient to take that decision on where your child needs to be going to university. Um, there is also tremendous amount of information if you go on to the IB website or the CIE website uh, about how uh, students can get their certificates. So all this information is there. So please make an effort. I know we are all at home, but just uh, on a daily basis, if you can make that a practice to kind of get into some of these websites uh, to see how they can help you in uh, finalizing that university's decision um, would be very, very useful to you. Uh, thirdly, there is assistance. Don't feel like you're alone in this. So, for example, the CBSE has come out with a helpline and we will put that uh, helpline number for you in our description below so that uh, you have access to it and you can get in touch with them in case uh, you have any kind of questions. Uh, like I mentioned before, there's also IB and CIE that you can go into or Pearson if you go into their website. They will give you information. Uh, NACAC that's another really reliable website that you can go into in order to find out about universities uh, and their decisions uh, in the US. Um, I know that the CBSE and ICSE exams have been postponed and no particular decision has been taken. JEE for example has been postponed um, to um, 
to April and it's indefinite. We are not sure when they're going to have it. So I know for some of you, uh, these are not applicable, but it's important for everyone to be up to date as to what's happening with regards to uh, universities as well as entrance examinations. Um, fourthly, if you have a child uh, who's in grade eight, nine, 10 or 11 and uh, therefore has a little bit more time before they go to university and they're at home. I know a lot of uh, schools are doing Zoom online classes now, which is amazing. But uh, another thing that is, you know, a new product that has really come up is a virtual internship program. And uh, I have looked into it. I have looked at some of the websites, the careers that they have, and it is fantastic. These are short programs. They don't take too long to do but uh, parents I tell you there are 18 different careers that you can choose from and it is such a great opportunity so whether your child is kind of exploring careers or whether your child is confused between two careers or trying to figure out what kind of skills they have whatever it might be whatever confusion they're going through with regards to making a decision for their career this is such a great opportunity because uh, there's a fantastic report that comes out at the end which really highlights some of the strengths that your child will have and um, gives them enough insight even though it's a short brief program it gives them enough information the right information that they need in order to make an informed decision and even you as a parent if you are wondering what a particular uh, career is about for example ethical hacking go on to it you know maybe um, buy a course and do it and see how you like it do it with your child uh, anyway all of you are at home uh, maybe this is a great opportunity to learn something together so uh, again I will put the link for it in the description that we have uh, below and please feel free to click on it and uh, register for some of these courses there are also I know that this is a great time to do entrance exam prep so especially if your child is in grade 11 they're getting ready for JEE or NEET or if they are wanting to do SAT for next year, this is a great time. And lastly, out of all the research that I've been doing, one word that has been highlighted everywhere, whatever uh, website you go on to, it's the word flexible know that universities are flexible whether here in India or whether um, uh, in the UK or US or Canada wherever you are applying know that the universities are there to support you and your child to provide any kind of assistance that you need whether it be for visa or whether it is about uh, submitting applications or whether it's wondering how to send off the final high school transcript or the certificates they are there to assist you and so are we. We at Univariety, we're keeping up to date with all the kind of um, changes that are happening. So please reach out to us, call us, any kind of concern that you have, know that we're here to support you. Uh, till next time, goodbye. <music>